everybody. I'm here for a quick update. I posted a video or like a, um, oh, what do they call that? An Instagram, whatever, of just quick little snippets of what I have inside my notebook. And some people wanted to see what it was in more than, you know, you know, five or 10 second little snips. So here we go. This is just my Coco Daisy a uh, planner pouch that came with the October kit, and I thought it went with it really well. So I've got a lot of, of the Coco Daisy planner stuff in here for this month. Um, but I don't have any of that stuff in here. That's going to be used in a couple of other different planners. This is just my journal, but I'm sure some of the many stickers that I have will um, make an appearance in here. So first things first, some people have asked when they saw this, they thought, let's say that again as I throw notebooks everywhere, when people first saw this, they thought it might have been a sojourner. I do have this notebook right here. Um, let me see if I can get the lighting just a little bit better. It's kind of late at night. This right here is my sojourner in the B6 size, and this is a folio in the turmeric. So this is my sojourner in the B6 size and so a lot of people thought when they saw this notebook right here that it was my sojourner. It actually isn't. This right here is a notebook that I got from Kat uh, from Boho Cottage. This is a Boho Dory and this is in what she calls the personal size and when I first got it I did use it with uh, personal Coco Daisy inserts. Um, but let me, she calls it, let me open it so you can see the full leather. She calls it the mustard. And when it first came, it had white elastic. And this is just some olive green that I thought would go really well with it. So let's just do a quick little look through here so you can see all that I have inside this notebook. Um, so the first thing I have, you'll see here, is a folder. And this is one of the um, craft text folders by uh, Taroko Shop. And then I just have some ephemera in a little twin, little twin stars <laughs> bag and some cute little things from Japan that I had a friend, a friend sent to me along with some other things. Uh, here I printed just a small, uh, this is a B6 Slim monthly calendar and I actually cut it smaller than a B6 Slim. This folder is B6 Slim, but I cut it tinier so it would fit inside the folder instead of being the same width of the folder. And I did it on the um, Kokuyo paper, so it's, it's very thin and very tiny. Here is that Smash, Smash book guy, I forget his name. I just thought he looked cute hanging out there. And this is something that I normally don't do. I haven't used dashboards in my planners in a long time, but I saw a video of Allie Brown from quite a while ago, actually, and um, she put some in hers, and I really liked the way she did it. So I put here, this is my little puppy Seamus, and this was the first day that we were able to meet him, and there he is resting on my shoulder. And then here we have him, sorry about the glare that happens with these dashboards. We have him dressed up for Halloween last year as um, Harry Potter, so we call him Harry Pupper, and um, yeah, those were on for the photo, and then they were off. And then I, I have some photos here, like here's a photo from my wedding, and a smaller version, and you know, some different photos from playing with the orchestra for Pops concerts and ballets and with one of my tiny little students. And this is kind of a mantra of mine. I'm not here to fit into your world. I'm here to make my own. And I kind of like that fitting for this journal. Um, now here is, this is an old Chad from a while ago before our uh, Weight Watchers journey. And um, we were at Walmart and they had these 
heads. So he's in a little panda bear. And then I decided to print one of the B6 Slim um, Growing Up Goddess inserts that I've had for quite some time. And I only printed like a month's worth. So I printed like half, because normally there's two months worth. And I did the same thing. I printed it on the Kokuyo paper. So it's, it's very thin like the um, Tomoe River, um, but it's a little bit more forgiving. And then here is a black and white version of that photo from the front. Same thing with this, I was testing my printer. There's Chad and his lovely panda bear. <laughs> and there we are for our wedding. And then there's a black and white version of Seamus. Now this right here is a insert, um, and you'll see right down here, it is a Midori insert. So this came with one of my original Midoris, and I've got like three or four that are original um, that aren't, you know, Traveler's Notebook brand. Um, so I've got some Courtney Diaz and James Burke here, some more of James from a printable, and this is a washi tape that he sent to his... Um, patrons. This right here is that ink someone wanted to see. It's a fountain pen ink uh, and it's called Dragon's Blood. And it's kind of, it, it dries like blood. It's what it is. And so I've been using this to journal and these are, if you followed me on Instagram, are some of my new watercolors. They are the Saint Petersburg Biola Bier goodness gracious, Saint Petersburg Noche, the White Nights, and it's it's a night time right now. So those are them, and I wanted to see what they looked like, and they look amazing. These are, I'm trying to remember which watercolors these are. They might be the Prima watercolors. These again are my, um, St. Petersburg, White Knights. These are the Jane Davenport watercolors. I think it's two of her blues and her bright pink one. I can't remember what they're called. Um, these are um, my St. Petersburg. These are Primas, the Prima watercolors, and they're really chalky. I used to think they were really great until I got my... Um, like, look at the colors. Those look so vibrant. These don't really blend very well, except for maybe the orange and the yellow. But I was able to get some great blend here between the yellow and my orange. Um, not so much here. So, I don't know. I might give them away. These are um, my uh, St. Petersburg. Just some Coco Daisy Washi. These right here are the St. Petersburg. See, they do some beautiful things. And I just decided to put a little tip in of little Harry Pupper. Um, and then I did some swatches. They have like a 12 set, a 24 set, a 36, and a 48. I have these right here, the 24 set. Um, and I wanted to see what the 12 set looked like if I wanted to have a little travel palette. There's some nice colors there. Um, so there are those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, I only have two Daniel Smith. They are the Prussian blue and the duochrome blue. Um, one reason why I love the uh, St. Petersburg. Actually, let me just get them out. This is the palette that I put them in. They come in a much larger palette. There's my swatch card. These are the two Daniel Smith I have, the Prussian blue and the duochrome blue. They're both beautiful colors. Um, but one of the reasons why I really like the um, St. Petersburg is if you look, they are a whole pan. Here are my two Daniel Smiths. They are half pans. Um, you know, you can get 24 in a set for the price of, you know, like, I mean, I think I paid like 40 some odd dollars for the 24 half pans, which is an amazing, an amazing price. 
you would have to spend a heck of a lot more for the Daniel Smiths. And I mean, the Daniel Smiths are, are wonderful colors, but the St. Petersburg are just as good. Um, you know, and um, I did order, I have a few extra ones coming that aren't in this set. Um, I ordered, actually, I think I wrote it down. Oh. I have Payne's Gray coming, Quinacridone Lilac, Quinacridone Rose, and Quinacridone Violet Rose. Because <laughs> I feel that, you know, those are, you know, some of the colors that are missing in here. And I know I can make Payne's Gray by using, like, a violet, an indigo, and something else. Um, I know I can make that, but it, it would be kind of nice to have it automatically on the go. Um, so there's that insert. And this is the one that I posted on Instagram that I covered with, um, I basically decoupaged a bunch of stuff on it. But then I decided to cover it with packing tape because I was afraid it was going to come off. <laughs> then I have back here a B6 Slim uh, zipper pouch that I got from Taroko Design. This is a Courtney Diaz calendar. I know it says April, but I love this lion, deer, whatever kind of guy so much that I still put it in there. I have in here, this is a Midori MD. I'm not sure if you can see that. It says MD paper in there. So this is a Midori MD paper insert in the grid and it is a B6 slim. Um, so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do that, do with that. I've got some my uh, Babette Monkey Fists in the B6 size. And then I've got some stamps and paper clips and a stencil and a postcard. And then this is a Taroko design, Taroko Shop um, standard Midori uh, writing board that all I did was, besides get a lot of glue on it, um, I cut it down so it is B6 slim size. So that is a very quick look into my beautiful boho cottage boho dory in the mustard. I will try to link everything down below, and I know I do have an unboxing video of this, which I will try to link below or get one of those little um, boop boop info boxes to happen here. So if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.